Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal, making the most of watched folders. You might already be using Adobe Media Encoder to export from Premiere Pro and from After Effects or converting video clips. AME, as I'll call it, AME has a watched folder and this watched folder originally only accepted clips but now it accepts Premiere Pro projects and After Effects projects with comps. The way that it works is it uses the top level. I'll show you what that means. But there are some great advantages to using watched folders with multiple outputs. Let me show you what I mean. All right. So this is Media Encoder and usually you're looking for things in the top left hand side here and you can add more uh, media inside here. You can add After Effects comps and Premiere Pro sequences. But down here in the bottom right are watched folders. You can add a watch folder by clicking on the add folder button and I'll create a new folder right here. It's called watch. I'll select that folder and it uses my last chosen uh, setting which for me is QuickTime Cineform uh, GoPro. Um, I can choose any other format. In fact I can drag and drop from my list over here and you can see that little left and right hand boom and I've replaced that now to YouTube and it's going to automatically create a folder called output. But what if I actually wanted this one video to output in three or four or ten different formats? I don't want to open up a folder and see ten videos and then try to remember which one is which. Let's say for this one I want H.264. For another one I want Cineform. For another one I want whatever. So instead of using the default here, I'll click where it says output and I'll back out one level. So you can see right here, I'm at the output. When I go back out, I'm gonna create a new folder and you can do this exact same thing in the Mac. So now the H.264 folder, I'll select that folder. So the H.264 YouTube goes to H.264 YouTube. When I click on the name here, I can add another output format. So click inside here, another output. It's the default, the exact same one. So I'm going to choose a QuickTime and I'll choose the 10-bit GoPro Cineform. Click on the output, back up one level, create a new fol folder. Make sure I select that folder and now the second one imports into there. So now when I go into my watched folder for final output, I know exactly where the H.264 is. So I've done two, but imagine five, 10, or 50 different versions. All right, so the watched folder, if we just go and, and look at uh, our folders now, so there's my watched folder. That's the original output. I really don't care about that, but I'm just going to leave that for now. When I drag anything inside here, so I'll just copy this inside. So that's inside there. Once Media Encoder recognizes what's going on, it realizes that there's, a, there's an asset that's been copied. And if it's a large asset, it will wait. Notice it's doing dual processing here, so it's going to output both formats at the same time. The H.264, I think, is a little bit faster. This one's done. That one's done. And our source, it will move the source so we don't accidentally get confused. And, and notice at the top, it's actually processing them. So if we look at our file, remember I dropped it in here, it drops it in the source. It has to do that, or if it stays outside of the source, it'll think it needs to do it and it will need to do it again and again and again. So um, it moves that for you. All right. So I mentioned you can do this with Premiere Pro projects and After Effects projects. Well, let's go to Premiere Pro and I'll show you that Inside this bin, I actually have a sequence because that's in a bin and this one is outside on the, on the root level, the outside level, the one in the bin will not be um, processed. It will not be output. Even though there's two sequences, only one will be uh, used. So let's go have a look at that. All right. 
So here is the um, here's the Premiere Pro project. I'll copy that in here. Here's an After Effects comp. I'll copy that in here too. And we can see that it's outputting both those formats, just like before, putting them in, this, in the correct folders. And this is an, a Premiere Pro project, not just a video clip. There it goes. And now it's uh, getting ready for the other one, which we'll see in a moment. That one is done. Now it's running Dynamic Link Server, which is running basically a headless version of After Effects, outputting those two formats. There they go. And they're output all by sticking them in the watch folder. It's also important to remember that these presets can also have publishing settings too. So I could have uploaded this directly to YouTube at the same time. So if we go to our final folder, go to the H.264 folder and the Cineform folder, three in there, three in there, and they're set ready to go. All right, pretty cool, right? AME, Adobe Media Encoder, not just for outputting one at a time, but using it as a watch folder with a complete project. And whatever's on that upper level will be output. Remember, you can also be uploading that directly to YouTube or Vimeo or to Creative Cloud or to FTP or all of those at the same time. Whew. All right, so hopefully you found some good use for the watched folders. If you found this informative, and hopefully you have been, please take a moment and click on the subscribe button to video reveal. And if you're not already an Adobe Creative Cloud user, then get on over to adobe.com and download your free 30-day trial. Until next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you looking your best. Yeah.